Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science, and today I'm going to be talking about a super simple, uh, quite high voltage power supply. Um, what you're going to need for this project, you're going to need a flyback transformer. You can get these from uh, old broken down CRT TVs. Those are the big old dinosaur TVs, the really old ones that have kind of been phased out due to their uh, low image quality and um, their size in comparison to the new LCD and plasma TVs. You're also going to need a fluorescent lamp ballast. These can easily be purchased at um, home improvement stores. Uh, they're used to light up fluorescent lights. So here I'm going to demonstrate how one of these is used to light up a fluorescent light. Here's a big long fluorescent tube. These are used pretty often. You can find them in many stores and even in schools. Okay, so here let me plug in this ballast first. The way uh, you wire this up is the black and white wires on that side go to the wall and then I'll show you how you use these other wires. Okay, the way you do this is you take one of these colored wires uh, that aren't yellow in this case, uh, like one of these blue wires, and you're going to attach this to one end of your fluorescent bulb. On the other end, you're going to bring one of these yellow wires, which in my case, you bring one of the yellow wires. These are a ground wire, and you're going to bring this to the other side of the fluorescent bulb. As you can see, it lights up quite nicely. Here's a flyback transformer that hasn't been used yet. I got this out of a CRT TV, and as you can see, they have quite a few different pins on the bottom. This one has 10. And um, in our case, you're only going to use three of these pins. And there's a lot of tutorial tutorials on, out there on how to find the three pins that we're going to use. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about that. You can search that. On, it's on Instructables or just search it on Google. Um, we're going to use three of the pins. Two of them will be the inputs to the primary coil, and the other uh, one that we're going to use is the high voltage uh, ground output. The positive comes out of this red wire, and the ground will come out of one of these pins. And a lot of transformers are different, so there's no way to tell which one it is other than just testing. Once you've identified which pin it is, you need to attach wires to those pins. And in my case, I found them and I soldered them. Once I had all those wires soldered onto those three uh, pins, I submerged the transformer in mineral oil. This can be found uh, at many grocery stores or pharmacies. It's used as a laxative and um, it's a very good insulator. So why we're using it in this case is when you have one of these transformers and a high voltage is going through it, these pins are so close that they'll begin to arc between each other and that can burn out your transformer. So you want to insulate those pins. I've seen people use hot glue, so you could try that too, but I found that the oil works really well. So you can see I have those wires coming out that I talked about. Uh, this is one of the input wires. Anyway, I'll stop talking, I'll get this wired up and you guys can see the high voltage output this has. See, there's nice healthy arcs and a uh, very nice corona. I'm unsure of the voltage. If anybody knows an easy way of how to calculate the voltage, uh, please let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll turn the lights off and then we can do this again. Now here's something a little different. In the last arcing, I was only using one of the blue wires. This time, I have two blue wires hooked up. Uh, this will increase the amperage as we have more power going into it. I still have that same one yellow wire because we only need one ground. And those two connections are coming into the inputs of the transformer. Something I find interesting is that high-pitched hum in between arcings doesn't happen until I do the first arc. You'll see what I mean. Here, now that high-pitched humming happens, I think it's the ballast has a switch. 
that happens when the first uh, current draw happens or something, I don't know. Anyway, you can see that the arcs are much brighter now, and they can reach much further distance. That Corona is gone, though. The Corona only happens a little bit. But look at those arcs. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any uh, ideas for what you want me to do with this transformer, uh, please let me know in the comments. And please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys later. Bye.